Max. This is Vex Robotics Team 8655V, the Q is silent, with a more improved version of our scissors lift. Um, we're no longer calling this our prototype because as we get farther into the season, we realize that we don't really have any more time to modify our design that much. So we're going to stick with this design and uh, modify it from here. We have many new changes with our robot, and among them are the increased height, um, the power. Uh, the scissors lift is actually powered by motors using linear slides, and um, we've incorporated the chain to work um, while we're driving, so we actually have wheels now. So, wait, stop. We power our scissors lift using a rack and pinion design with a single motor and a single small gear to power it. Off of that, um, where the motor is mounted, we also have a bar, which is attached to uh, four times doubled up latex tubing attached to approximately the middle of the scissors lift. And that's true for both sides of the robot. So then, when we raise the rack and pinion, it will pull on the latex tubing, causing our robot to rise. One of our problems with our lift that we still need to fix is the chain that needs to stay on our sprocket. So we're still trying to figure out how to solve this problem, but we can lift it and some of the time it stays on the sprocket. So it raised to its full height, which is approximately six feet just under, actually, around there. Uh, but you can see that it did not stay on the sprocket. Yeah. So we're still trying to fix this problem. But uh, once we have that fixed, uh, we can show you what the robot will be capable of. So after we fix that problem, we can get both scatter sections and blocks. And this setup is the correct setup in a real match. And with our chain design, not only can we pick up blocks, but we can pick up multiple at a time with however many chains we have. that.